We are live. My name is David, and in this video, I would like to share details about how I review literature and the types of reading I use when reviewing literature. For this video, I will use literature from the second session of Might 6023. The first thing to know is the purpose uh, for reviewing literature. In this case, my purpose is to develop a study on pedagogical technologists or technology coaches. And right now, I want to know what has been done already uh, to study technology coaches and I also want to know how this has been done. So I start first with this journal article, uh, Rethinking Instructional Leadership, a review. And this is basically a literature review article. And I go to the section on instructional coaching. I've already read this article. I read this earlier in the year, and now I am rereading this article. And I'm skimming this part. And in particular, I'm looking at my highlights. I've already read this article, and I'm reading what I've already found in this article. And then I come upon something that is very important for me. What are the literature gaps? So this article um, describes what has been done, and then this article describes in this particular section what has not been done about instructional coaching. And after my skimming, I uh, read this paragraph generally, I highlight some important points. In fact, I basically highlight the entire paragraph. I use a new color to highlight. And at the same time, I'm taking notes um, as I'm reading. So what are the literature gaps? And these are explicit gaps, but I also identify, based on the article, uh, implicit literature gaps. So I write those down, too. Okay. So uh, as I'm reading generally, I notice that um, this author is citing Bean et al. 2010 twice in this article or in this paragraph. So this is important. So I go down to the references. I scan for Bean et al. Hello because this reference might be useful. It was useful for this uh, author. And I see this, and I highlight it in my yellow color. I might read that later. OK. So now I want to know um, about the literature that this uh, author reviewed, um, how much uh, and how did she find it? So I go to the methodology section of the literature review, situating the review theoretically and methodolo methodologically. And I read this intensively, because I don't recall reading this the first time uh, I looked at this article. So I identify her conceptual framework for distributed leadership. I highlight this in yellow. And I write this down, because this may be a useful conceptual framework uh, for my study on uh, pedagogical technologists. And now I come to the, the bits where she describes how uh, she found this literature through snowball sampling, um, the types of uh, data that she found through snowball sampling, and identify some strengths and some weaknesses and some gaps. For instance, um, there are 129 sources. I don't know 
how many are actually about instructional coaching, which is what I'm interested in. Uh, in addition, um, this author is categorizing and coding, but there's not really not much description about the categorizing and coding, and um, I'd actually like to know a bit more about the categorizing and coding. Okay, so this is um, how I've read this article. Going to another piece, um, my literature review, um, in the same way that this other author is conducting her literature review, I uh, similarly go to my references and I'm looking for uh, seminal or recent works and also important works uh, about um, technology coaches or ICT coordinators and ultimately I'm very interested in their methodologies. Now how do I know something's important? Well I actually take a look at the journal and this comes from my personal knowledge. So I see that okay this uh, article is about educational technologists, teachers college records, so I'm skimming right now. I'm skimming through these. This is more than scanning. Um, I'm skimming looking for prominent journals and also uh, relevant titles. So I identify these in blue. I identify uh, the combinations of relevant titles and uh, prominent journals. I highlight these. Ultimately, I'm going to read these articles and uh, read specifically the methodology sections. So this is actually my snowball sampling of literature review. So I hope this is um, informative of how uh, I uh, conduct a literature review, and especially in terms of how I'm reading things, in terms of skimming and scanning and uh, general and intensive reading.